Hello everyone, welcome to another video brought to you by WebVidTouch.com. This is video 2 on the PHP training series, and in this video we will begin coding in PHP. So let's just go ahead and begin by opening your favorite text editor, or be like me and open Notepad++. Once you have your text editor open, go ahead and just create a standard HTML page. I'm going to change my... There we go, language to PHP. Go ahead and just put your HTML tag, your head tags, title tags, and just everything in a standard web page. I recommend watching my PHP, or not my PHP, but my HTML training series before you start this one. Or if you already know HTML, then go ahead, you can, this will be easy for you then. Okay, after we have this, let's go ahead and just save this in our PHP training folder, or whatever you call it, yours. Swamp, www, and PHP training. Last video I had a space right here, but I want you to go ahead and take that out. I'll explain later why I took that space out. But just go ahead and take that space out of your PHP training uh, folder name. Let's go ahead and name this file video. 2.php. Make sure you have the PHP extension on the end. Go ahead and save that. And now we're ready to go ahead and begin coding. So how do we start beginning coding in PHP? What you have to do is open the PH open the PHP tag. The PHP tag is that. Less than question mark PHP. And then go down here and then we have to end the tag just like any other HTML tag or elements and then that'll end all the PHP coding. Everything in between these two tags is strictly PHP coding. Which means I can't go in here and type like oh I'm gonna put an HTML tag in there. No, it won't It won't work. I mean you can use some PHP code to put some tags down but if you just type in like oh I'm gonna put a paragraph tag in here and then I'm gonna start typing some PHP code in there. Well that's not gonna work. This is where all your PHP code will go. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. So let's go ahead and learn one line of PHP coding. Go ahead and type as I type echo space quote hello there and then many exclamation points. There we go. And in that quote and then semicolon. I'm going to go ahead and tell you what each of these things mean. Echo is a command in PHP or code in PHP that will output whatever you type in quotes next to it. So it's like, okay, go ahead and write on the web page, hello there, with many exclamation points. You can write anything you want right in this gray area. Like, I can write the word, hello, I am Brad, or something. Anything in between, or, and, it'll, and this is the echo command is going to output onto the web page. I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute. And after each PHP statement you make, you always have to put a semicolon there. I just tell them the, um, what should I call it? Like the processor, like, hey, we're done with this PHP statement right here. Go ahead and start going to the other statements. And that's basically all it does. It just says, whoa, end of the line, okay, next commands, or next code. So what you have to do to run a PHP document is, since we already have our WAMP server running, oh, and make sure that you have the WAMP server running. It'll be in your, um, what is it called, your system tray. If it has a big green W in it, then you're good to go. If it's a red W, you'll have to probably turn it on. Or if there's no W there at all, then go ahead and run WAMP server. Because you have to have it running for this to work. And we can't actually just run this out of sh uh, straight out of Notepad++ or anything. We have to open up a browser. Like, go ahead and open up Google Chrome or something. And go ahead and type what I type into the URL bar. Localhost slash. And then right here we're going to put our folder name. So, php training slash video. 2.php and what's this doing is, is localhost 
the www folder the www folder acts as the local host and then within that www folder did I say four w's I'm not sure but we have that PHP training folder and then inside that folder we have video 2 so let's go ahead and run this and what outputted hello there outputted just as we just as we stated in our PHP code now the reason I had you take out that space before is that sometimes if you have a space in your folder and you run it it won't work sometimes sometimes it might forge you to Google so if you ever have a space in your folder names like let's say it was PHP training like that you can't put a space right there you have to put a percent sign and then 20 right there this is saying like hey there's a space here to the browser and the browser like okay so let's just put our special character space there so that's why I recommend taking out space and just keeping it all text so then won't confuse or anything and uh, let's go ahead and edit this document again just to show you uh, let me go ahead and uh, you can actually put PH, uh, not PHP tags but you can actually put HTML tags in here too like for instance I can put a paragraph tag right there and put a paragraph ending paragraph tag right there and what it'll do is it'll actually bring on the web page and make this into a paragraph or make this hello there between some paragraph tags it won't show anything probably good nah. but if you go ahead and look in the code bam there's our paragraph tag ooh where's my body okay there it is like bam there's our paragraph tags right there and you may notice hey where's all my PHP code at well this PHP code is will not be read cannot be read in the source as it's executed only by the server and not the actual web page so the only thing you'll see on the web page is HTML and all the output that we're going to put on there or that it, the server puts on there for the PHP coding so it puts hello there and then my two paragraph tags and that is it for this video hope you learned a little bit more about PHP and hope you guys enjoyed learning about that PHP code and how to start coding in PHP uh, if you like this video go ahead and subscribe on our YouTube channel and register as a member on our site at webvidtuts.com thank you all for watching and have a good day goodbye